long-term and short-term leases, which is better for you? Professional Phoenix Rental Investment Advice. Phoenix is a unique rental market. While long-term leases are typically the best option for investors, this is a tourist-friendly area with a lot of people who come and go for a period of days, weeks, or months. Short-term rentals can be a benefit when you're trying to reach vacationers or business travelers. However, as we've seen in recent pandemic, tourism is an industry that is dependent on a lot of things such as travel not being restricted. Today, we're looking at some of the pros and cons to help you decide whether you should rent your Phoenix investment property out for a short-term or long-term lease. In the end, you'll have to do a comparison that fits the unique position of your own rental property. Compare a year's worth of income and expenses on a long-term lease and do those same numbers on a short-term lease. Short-term leases, pros and cons. One of the benefits to renting your property out with a short-term lease is that it gives you more flexibility if you're renting out your own home. If you're leaving the area temporarily and you hope to move back in one day, short-term leases will allow you to get back home when you're ready. Another benefit is you can typically charge more for the property if it's rented for a shorter term. A lot of landlords do really well renting out their property as a seasonal rental or short-term stays they generate great cash flow. Nightly or weekly rates you can charge for a short-term rental is often double or even triple what you can charge per night on a long-term rental. However, one drawback to renting your property out for a short term is that it requires more work from you. You must be responsive to your frequently changing renters and you'll have to locate new tenants and move them in every few days or weeks or months. You'll need to handle a rental agreement and make sure that the property is in good condition during each turnover. If you cannot commit to the intense ongoing maintenance and care of your property, a short-term lease might not be best for you. You also have the potential for more vacancies. Even in Phoenix, the property won't always be occupied. So you'll need to constantly look for new tenants. When you take all that vacancy you're incurring over the long haul, it will add up to a lot of money that you would have saved had you locked in someone for a 12 month term. Think about the amenities and the furniture as well. Short term lease apartments and homes need to be furnished and your renters expect quality and functionality. Furnished short term rentals will also include cooking supplies, linens, and established utilities, including cable television and Wi-Fi. Long term lease agreements, pros and cons. One of the benefits to renting a property for a standard 12 month term is that these are the homes the majority of the tenant pool is seeking. They want to a stable property that they know that they will be in their home for at least a year. You'll usually find tenants who are hoping to stay longer than 12 months. With our long-term leases, our average tenant stays in place for two years or more, especially if you're providing a good experience and maintaining the home. Long-term tenants add some stability to your investment. You build a relationship with your tenant and you have a good idea of who is in your home and taking care of it. There's less uncertainty and usually less risk. On the downside, you might not get those super high nightly rates that you can charge when a tenant is looking to stay somewhere for only one or two days. You also have to respect the length of the lease period and will be, it will be difficult to, and expensive to move the tenant out through no fault of their own. Converting from short-term to long-term. If you're converting your short-term rental to a long-term rental, you'll have to do some work early on in the process. This includes removing all the furnishings, marketing a home in a new place, and deciding on a rental rate that's a bit different than what you're used to. You'll also have to learn a new set of laws and best practices You'll have to pay closer attention to the tenant screening process, the lease agreements, and the maintenance policies. Professional property management in Phoenix is crucial when you're moving from one type of rental to another. Choosing between short-term and long-term really depends on whether you want to earn as much as possible and you don't mind those constant turnovers, or you're looking for a predictable, stable income with one tenant. We can help you make this decision with a detailed cash flow analysis and we can also help you manage your Phoenix rental property.
Contact us at Service Star Realty for more information.